Dick Bockwinkle said the daughter of Grizzly Smith, who teamed with Luke Brown as one of the Kentuckians back years ago in the 60s. Well, you've got to say she comes from a wrestling family. Her toughest opponent ever was Medusa Michelli right here in the LPWA. Let's go to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the corner to my right. Hey, wait a minute, just a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm out of here. She is, oh, she says, you want to play some sneak attack, sister, we can handle that. You're not going to pull one like that on Rockin' Robin. She's been around the wrestling business way too long, and you're not going to get away with a sneak attack like that, as Black Venus just found out. And needless to say, this is not a match in the LPWA Japanese title tournament. This is a grudge match. The first round of the tournament has been completed. We'll see those girls return later on for the second round, but right now, it's time to settle some scores between Black Venus and Rock and Robin. Boogaloo Brown on the outside. You know, you gotta say one thing for Boogaloo. I don't like his attitude. I don't like the way he acts, but he always looks sharp. He is a sharp dressed man. He is a veritable paragon of sartorial pulchritude is Boogaloo Brown. He what? Sartorial pulchritude. I thought he had gone and uh, had Doug Cooper help him pick out some clothes, too. No, no, Doug has got an exclusive agreement with me. Whoa! Look at this now. What a right hand that knocked her out. Black Venus knows how to Whoa. wrestle, but loves to brawl. She'd rather be in a good fight than a good wrestling match. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And I think Rocky Robin is gonna have to protect herself in every way, shape, and form against that very move right there, a headbutt. And just like the referee says in the instructions before every match, protect yourself at all times, and Rock and Robin should pay heed to that advice. Look at this, she's got her up off the ground, choking her, and just throws her to the ground. Referee Baldy Kriegsman telling Black Venus he, that she is going to have to uh, mind her P's and Q's. You never really do get along with the referees, do you, Jim? Well, uh, you know, I've had a lot of problems with them in the past. None my fault, of course. We are coming to you live from Rochester, Minnesota, the home of the famous Mayo Clinic. As a matter of fact, we are in the Mayo Civic Center right now, even as we speak. And we want to uh, welcome everyone who is watching the Super Ladies Showdown today on this exclusive pay-per-view event, the first LPWA pay-per-view ever. And we want to thank all the fans who showed up. If you haven't heard, there is a tremendous ice storm here in southern Minnesota today. It was very dangerous getting out. As a matter of fact, if we, honestly, if we had not been here yesterday, I don't know how we would have gotten here, Jim. Can you imagine an ice storm in southern anything? Well, I think right out in front of us now. Wait a minute. Right out in front of us. Right out in front of us. We've got to be careful. Hey, hey, hey Joe, Rock and Robin is bleeding. Rock and Robin is bleeding from the head. She's been busted open. By the, I don't know whether it was something on the table she was run into, whether it was that big right hand. If we get a shot of Rock and Robin. Rock and Robin is hurt. I think it was from the microphone right here on the table. She got hit. She was slammed head first into it, and now there is blood coming from the forehead of Rockin' Robin. Blood on her head, blood on her tights. She is busted bad, and that's exactly the kind of advantage that Black Venus wanted. Robin fighting back now. Robin has got Black Venus. She's going to try to bring her outside over the top rope. And she does it. She does it. She brings it over. And they're back out here again. We can oh, 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 watch it. They're fighting on the table, Jim. I don't know what we're doing now, Joe. I can see that they are fighting on the table. And I'm trying to get the heck out of the way. Thank you. Jim, I thought with the ladies, we would probably not have to worry about this type of thing. With Black Venus in the ring and Boogaloo on the outside, 
You never know what is going to happen. Well, there might be some girl wrestlers in the ring, but I don't see any ladies right well, now. That's a good point. And look at Robin. Robin just took a look at the blood that was on her hands, and I think it has just infuriated her. I saw referee Bruce Kritzman checking the cut on the head. It's up above the hairline of Rock and Robin. And she might have might have got a, a gash in her eyebrow as well. It's not Venus is down. Robin is going up on the second rope. Comes down. Oh, Venus brings up the knees. Robin had nowhere to go but right down across both of those raised knees of Black Venus. Boy, these people are getting a Donnie Brook for their money today. Oh, I bet it's worth every cent they pay to get in here. What is happening now? And oh, good three drops her back one. Robin! 